Hey everyone, welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. So, I was repairing a classic Game Boy today, and I thought it was about time to make this video. And, um, you know, I started this channel being a computer gaming channel. I started doing some retro gaming because I've been doing it for years, and I thought I'd share my passion for that for you as well. And originally I decided to not do any modern consoles. I don't even own a PS4 or an Xbox One, and I was pretty comfortable with my decision. Because at heart, I love retro gaming. And then, E3 this year came around, and unfortunately Nintendo did this. Yes, a remake of Zelda Link's Awakening. And I'm so sorry to tell you guys that Nintendo, they got me, they got me, and I bought a Nintendo Switch. So, if you guys haven't guessed yet, I hope you can see the sarcasm in this video, because I am actually really happy with my purchase. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Nintendo, this isn't an ad or anything. It's just to tell you guys that coming to the channel, we're going to be doing some Switch content. And they really, really, no joke, got me with Link's Awakening. Uh, growing up, that was the first ever game I got on a handheld console, getting my first Game Boy and Link's Awakening. Uh, I, it's going to sound really odd to some people out there, because even though I had my Nintendo before my Game Boy, I had never played a Zelda game before. I just wasn't into those because I didn't really know what it was. And when my mom bought my Game Boy, he, she asked the guy at the counter what a good game was to get with my Game Boy as a gift for Christmas. And they got me, uh, he suggested Link's Awakening. And that started my journey on the Zelda games. So when Nintendo announced a, a Zelda uh, Link's Awakening remake, I couldn't forgo buying a Switch for that game alone, if nothing else. So I got the Switch, and I've got to say, I've only had it for a couple of weeks, but I really love this console. And honestly, the reason why is because I find that at heart, it's a console that brings back the same feelings that I have when I play my retro games. When I play Mega Man 11 on this, when I play any other games, you can really see that Nintendo, a lot of their games, puts the gameplay above the production values. Not that they don't have good production values, but really what's at the forefront is the gameplay. And that's what I honestly, so far, am impressed about this console, is that Nintendo has stuck true to its roots and really gone for gameplay before flashiness. Which maybe some of the other consoles could one day, you know, pick up on. Not saying that the other consoles don't have an audience, but that doesn't mean that you can't put at the forefront, nonetheless, publishers really, you know, pushing gameplay above just production value. So basically, this video, if you're still watching out there, is to let you guys know that we're going to be doing some Switch content on the channel. Uh, we're going to be looking at controllers, controller reviews. Uh, I might even do for the first time actual game reviews on the Switch, because although I'm not a pro gamer, I've been gaming for over 30 years, and I can tell you guys whether I like a game or not. It's going to be my opinion. You guys can disagree. You guys will be able to agree. Uh, but, you know, we'll have a discussion, and I'll let you know that, in my opinion, is it worthwhile for you guys to spend your money on games? Since we've always been, however, a budget channel, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably most likely be focusing more on, uh, basically, more of the budget end games that maybe some other channels will forego reviewing. Not that we won't every now and then pick up a AAA title, but I'm going to try to focus a little more on the games that maybe other big channels aren't picking up on or don't pick up on right away. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, I hope you guys are still liking the content I'm putting out there. This is not going to stop the computer content. This is not going to stop the retro content. There's still going to be a lot of that. It's just that the Switch content is going to come out side by side with the other videos. And, you know, honestly, a lot of that content is maybe going to be even easier for me to push out on a regular basis because reviewing a game uh, is a lot less time consuming than, for example, making a computer build. Because uh, I can sit down a few hours with a game, get some footage, put it out there, and we can have a discussion about that game. So, I hope you guys are appreciating the channel as usual. 
Uh, likes and subscribes will really be appreciated. If there are things about the Switch you would like me to review that maybe other channels haven't, or even if they have and you would just want a different opinion from someone who's really focused on the budget end of gaming, let me know because I really will uh, try to listen to you guys and get this content that you guys want out there. And uh, we're going to start with a couple of controller reviews probably over the next couple of weeks. So once again, let me know what you think about those. And I hope I'll catch you guys in my next video.